The Manila Times Lights, Camera, Boto The Chat Show Edition Rise and shine mga ka-voters! It's a beautiful morning full of hope for the future. Ito po si Tessa Mauricio Ariola, welcoming you to the Manila Times Lights, Camera, Boto The Chat Show Edition. We are now on our 10th episode, which means there are only four weeks left before the big day on May 9. The Manila Times hopes that as you continue to support this special election series, our trademark way of kilalanin at kilatisin with every candidate that comes on board is duly helping you choose the right persons and platforms on your ballots. As promised, you can count on Lights, Camera, Boto as the set where entertainment leads to empowerment. Ready na ba kayo mga ka-voters? Let's get started right now. The Manila Times. Lights. Camera. Boto. The Chat Show Edition. Today, we return to the national level to spotlight another possibility for your party list vote, which we know can be quite confusing and overwhelming to do. After all, with 173 party lists to choose from this elections, where do you even begin? Just keep in mind na ang magandang piliin na party list ay yung grupo na may malinaw na objective para sa totoong marginalized population ng bansa. And with that, samahan niyo po ako para kilalanin at kilatisin ang layunin ng PDP CARES party list with its first nominee, none other than the better half of Senator Coco Pimentel, who, besides being a devoted wife, is a passionate mother, an awarded chef by profession, and a successful businesswoman. Please welcome Katrina Yu Pimentel. Lights, camera, photo. Hi, hello. How are you? Um, how are you, Kat? It's really great to see you today. Um, I'm very, very excited to be able to ask you a lot of things. Kung bakit biglang um, napasok na kayo sa politika? Because sabi ko nga when we were uh, off, hindi pa tayo record earlier. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to go to your wedding. No, I think that was one of the last grand weddings before the pandemic hit. No, back back in 2018. Am I right? Yes, October 2018. Yeah, de ba? So napunta sa pandemic yung first few years of your of your marriage but um we'll talk about that later at kung ano yung mga na discover mo about yourself and that's making you uh you know also go into the career path of your of your hobby pick for your biopic Icebreaker lang muna. Um, we have a tradition here uh, since we're on the entertainment and lifestyle section. Uh, we always like to ask muna, kung merong gagawa ng pelikula ng buhay mo, which actress do you think would best portray you? I think I would uh, prefer Marian Rivera. Pwede, bagay naman. Diba? With the chinita eyes, the long hair. <laughs> yes. And my reason for that is um, I've been... Uh, monitoring syempre yung mga showbiz showbiz ganyan and yung life life nila ni Ding Dong Dantes nakita ko how devoted she was as a wife and as a mother to her kids and paras kasi kaming nag-advocate ng breastfeeding so very ano ako sa kanya i look up to her sa showbiz industry yeah, that's true no talagang mommy na mommy and she even took a leave from uh, work throughout the pandemic she couldn't think na piiwan niya yung babies niya uh, if she go into lock in taping so really a yes. lot of similarities there kilalanin you know like i said that i had the pleasure of being among the small media group invited to your wedding to senator coco in 2018 um, clearly, napakarami nang nangyari since then, no? Best of all, yung birth ng inyong daughter. And now, this all-new chapter in your life as you step into the political arena. But before we dive into that, um, and about PDP Cares, no? Your party list. Can you just tell us how married life has been for almost four years and counting? It was, it was great. <laughs> um, very busy. Um... Kasi I'm also helping his law office. I manage his law office. And syempre, hindi rin maiiwasan na tumutulong din ako sa Senate office niya. Binibiro din niya ako na ano, na parang invisible staff daw niya ako doon. <laughs> and then sa bahay naman, I make sure pa rin na kahit minsan, paminsan-minsan, na nakakapag-bake pa rin ako at nakakapagluto sa family. 
and I was a, a hands-on mom for Helena since she she was a born. Because um, I really breastfed her until one year and six months. Wow, ang galeng devotion talaga yon. One year and six months. <laughs> I just remember hearing this nga at your wedding. I just wanted you, Sana, to tell our um, uh, ka voters watching us today. Yung cute na love story niyo ni, ni Senator Popo. Mm-hmm. Kung paano kayo nagkakilala? Because I think that's such a nice story to tell. Oh, uh, 2013, um, I was invited to join his victory party. Um, hindi pa talaga kami magkakilala nun, so I just tagged along. And then, um, I met him again um, through a friend. Uh, tagged along lang din ulit ako. And then he asked me if I can cater for his office. I gave my number to him. Tapos sabi niya, um, higit ng menu. Sabi ko, I'll email the menu. <laughs> Tapos sabi niya sa akin, um, pwede bang mag-lunch tayo? Pag-usapan natin yung menu. Sabi ko, email. alam ko, usually pag may nagpapakater, papa-email lang yung menu. Eh. But I still pursued it kasi sabi ko, ano naman eh, um, uh, knowing him, uh, even hindi ko pa siya ganun ka-close, nakita ko naman na ang mga Pimentel as a public servant, talaga namang very ano sila very um straight well respected uh, lalo na yes, his father and, the, yes, and devoted talaga sila sa ginagawa nila mm-hmm. so nag nag cater pa din naman ako sa kanya <laughs> kahit sa sa ano sa request kahit sa budget na, niya kahit ganun lang yung budget mm-hmm. niya <laughs> yes yes uh, pagkatapos um afternoon invite invite siya for um lunch may time na hindi ako sumipot tapos parang parang sabi niya sa akin later on nung naging close na kami oo tapos biglang bumak out tapos hindi ka sumipot <laughs> tapos yon nagmeet kami ulit in another event siguro hindi na talaga naiwasan kasi nagkita kami ulit tapos sabi niya sa akin yon uh, mag dinner naman daw kami with his friends and with my friends so Muntik din ako mag-back out doon, pero sabi niya hindi na daw pwede mag-back out. So, tinuloy pa rin niya. And then yon doon na nag-starting friendship namin. It's good then to know, diba talagang he really went through the legal. Yung nang legal yeah. siya talaga. I mean, kahit na senador na siya noon, and you know, he could probably just talk to people and be confident and say what he's feeling. With you, hindi niya pala kinaya agad. So, <laughs> kaya pala ikaw yon Kat, diba? But anyway, <laughs> You know, when you were going out with him, because you were 2013, you had met, and then medyo ilang years pa before you, you guys got married, you know? But when you were going out with him, were there instances na nakita mo na, naku, mahirap siguro maging asawa ng isang politi- politiko? Uh, in Nung time na yun, may nakita ka pang ganon? And then now that you are Mrs. Coco Pimentel, um, were your worries um, proven or unproven naman? Naisip ko lang na, yun nga, na... Uh, parang mahirap nga maging wife ng isang politician kasi ma- malaki din yung expectation ng ibang tao sa iyo um, dahil nga public servant yung husband mo so uh, inexpect ka rin nila na yun nga um, tutulong ka din uh, so yun um certain certain naman din na in my heart ever since before may passion din ako tumulong sa mga tao um, even when i was still a student um, I, I especially pag magpapas ko nag ano ako eh gumagawa ako ng mga food sandwiches and mga candy candy packs na lagi ko sa ba- ah, sa ano ko sa kotse ko then binibigay ko sa mga yung sa mga ilalim ng tulay na mga less fortunate na ano na mga bata ganyan so nagkataon din na yun din ang passion ko na tumulong talaga so do nag start na sabi niya o oh, sige um, busy ako sa politics so pagdating sa humanitarian work ikaw nang tumutok so kahit hindi pa kami married noon uh, when he was senate president na assign na assign niya ako dun sa part na yon you were saying earlier also that you know you were the your managing director at the uh, senator coco's law firm no um the pimentel salomon baltao basilio Law firm, yeah. no? In accepting that position, of course, it means you have the credentials and the skills for the job. But more than that, talagang parang parang you 
you adapted na ba doon sa mga interests of um of of uh, Senator Coco and the and the parang the life that he wants you guys to live. Da, parang talagang for justice for serving the people. In embrace mo na talaga siya. Ah, yes, yes, oo. He always ano reminds me na oh um ang politics, maraming temptation diyan. Um pero dapat hindi tayo maliligaw lalo na yung tinuro ni Tatay Nene sa family na ang ang politics is a public service hindi siya negosyo so paulit-ulit din siya sa akin doon kaya parang nakaano na rin siya sa akin nakatatak na na uh, papasok sa politics so public service talaga um, service for others above self what was it in Senator Coco's world uh, that inspired you to, you know, embrace na nga itong life of public service and ultimately run today as party list representative? I really didn't have any plans to enter politics. It just so happens in my personal experience during this pandemic, ako mismo nakaramdam um, na kulang pa talaga yung sa tingin ko ha yung rights ng mga mother children and unborn child sa Philippines and then um, yun nga uh, during this pandemic mas na doble yung active ng PDP care sa pagtulong kasi nga maraming nawala ng trabaho so mas nagbigay kami ng mga assistance yung foundation namin na as PDP cares then tagal ng pandemic di ba 2020 nagstart then 2021 uh, napansin ni Senator Coco na sobrang active nga namin. So sabi niya, bakit hindi niyo nalang isali yan for party list? Baka mas makatulong pa kayo, madoble niyo, masama niyo sa, ano, sa, sa Congress and ma-push niyo yung advocacies niyo pa, makatulong pa kayo sa batas. Then sabi ko, sige pagdadasal ko muna kung itutuloy ko yan. Then, naisip ko rin, sabi ko, siguro nga, dahil nang sa nangyari sa akin personally, nung pandemic, I think it's time na dapat madagdagan yung boses ng kababaihan, ng mga kabataan, saka ng mga babies sa Congress. How did your family react naman siguro when they found out, like you were saying kanina, your brother was with you, how did your family react when you told them, I'm also going into politics? <laughs> but before you answer that, Kat, we're going to take a short break as we spotlight your party list's all-important pledge to the marginalized groups you represent in Personalidad na Plataforma Pa. Personalidad na Plataforma Pa. Sa lahat ng pagkakataon, Pilipino dapat paglingkuran. Number 8 sa party list, PDP Cares. Subok na sa pagtulong sa kapwa, PDP Cares for you. Number 8 sa party list, PDP Cares. The Manila Times. Lights. Camera. Boto. The Chat Show Edition. Kilatisin. We're back on Lights, Camera, Boto at bago natin kilatisin ang advokasya ng PDP Cares with first nominee, Kat Pimentel, let's return to our hanging question. Ano reaction po ng family ninyo when you said you were also going to join politics? Very supportive kasi my dad is a missionary. So sanay din siya na tumutulong talaga sa tao. 
And he said na, oh, uh, maybe if it's God's will, manalo ka, mas marami pa tayong matutulungan in, uh, in the in the Philippines and uh, especially in legislating. Um, and then, yung ibang siblings ko naman, parang hindi rin makapaniwala ng una. <laughs> Kasi, it's not me talaga eh, entering politics. Um, mm-hmm. But I told them, I assured them, you know, uh, PDP Cares naman uh, is very close to my heart. Uh, manalo or matalo tong party list na to, we will continue to help sa abot ng makakaya namin. It doesn't mean na, example, um, hindi manalo ang PDP cares, ititigil namin. Um, and kung manalo naman, pag, pa, pa, ano, manalo yung PDP cares, sabi ko sa kanila, mas madodoble or mas 10 times pa tayong makakatulong. Hindi lang sa uh, monetary or sa mga ayuda, kundi pati sa legislation mas mas mapupush pa natin kung ano yung mga dapat ayusin ano po ba ang PDP cares and which marginalized sectors does it represent ang marginalized sector na nire-represent ng PDP cares ay halos lahat ng sector ng society kasi during natural calamities and man-made calamities um di ba hindi naman um, hindi hindi naman mahihirap lang din yung mga tinatamaan eh um, kahit middle class uh, during floods tinatamaan din um, mas nagfo-focus lang talaga kami sa senior citizen sa women children and babies kasi during those times sila yung most vulnerable at mas hindi natutulungan um, sila pa nga yung um, hindi nabibigyan ng pansin na di ba dapat nga kapag calamities or kapag nasa ano na sila evacuation center hiwala yung um, banyo nila or di ba pag nagbibigay tayo usually ng ayuda puro pagkain lang di natin naisip na kailangan meron ding um, uh, diapers meron din for babies uh, meron din silang gatas and then meron ding sanitary napkins, yon. So, sa tingin ko, um, sila, yung, uh, sila yung mga most vulnerable. Mga mamis po pala rin ang kinakausap ni, uh, ni Kat no, for uh, PDP Cares. Uh, kayo po ang isa sa kanyang mga i-represent at ang rights nyo and the child. No? Siyempre, sabi mo nga, ang, ang PDP Cares um, really will represent the vulnerable. No? Lahat din ng mga nasalanta, um, yung mga naapektuhan ng, ng mga um, natural disasters and all of that. What kind of legislation do you think you will be doing for them? If you will check our eight-point agenda, um, nakalagay doon na we will be pushing for the anti bahak Coalition because the natural calamity, if it's natural, it's okay. How about the man-made calamities? We have to find the root cause of calamities and um, yun, ang, yun ang isa sa priority bill namin to create an anti baha coalition. And then, um, second is uh, Department of Resiliency. Uh, kung mapupush natin yun kasi now wala, ngayon wala pang Department of Resiliency and Preparedness sa Philippines. So yun, gusto namin sanang mapush. Um, and third is Yun nga, uh, protection of women, women's rights, children's, and unborn child. Uh, I want to focus more on um, taking care of them during calamities and pandemic. And uh, the promotion of, ano, of uh, nutrition, first 1,000 days ata, yun yung pinaka-importante. Uh, sana maturo din natin yun sa mga mothers. Um, I'm an advocate of breastfeeding. So, yon, isa sa ipupush ko rin. What is it about breastfeeding that um you want people to know? Bakit bakit maganda na ang bata, ang baby ay breastfed? Ah, uh, kasi yung breastfeeding, may antibodies sila na nakukuha sa atin eh. 'Di ba? I was a COVID positive mom. So, Inano ko talaga, kinondition ko yung mind ko. Kahit hindi kami nagkita ni Helena agad, uh, it took us weeks eh para magkita. Sabi ko, I will breastfeed her. 
Uh, so, so far, yung antibodies na nakuha niya sa COVID, uh, against COVID is mataas sa tingin ko ha, kasi hindi pa naman siya nagkakasakit. And then later on, after a year, nagpa-vaccine din kami ng COVID, uh, I was still breastfeeding. Ting- sa tingin ko rin, nakuha pa rin niya yung antibodies against uh, COVID. So, matibay pa rin siya. In, in, that, in that sense, I want to push and tell my experience to other mothers na breastfeeding is good for, ano, for your child. Um, aside from makakatipid ka from the formula, uh, nabibigay mo pa yung proper nutrition and talagang antibodies para sa babies niyo. You know, I admire you for for doing that because obviously you had a difficult time giving birth. You were sick with COVID. Ako kasi when I had my first baby, hindi ako, ma- hindi ako natuto mag breastfeed. But I would pump kasi parang yeah. it's the only way. Um, just tuturoan ka pa ng, you know, like a lactation consultant uh, doon sa hospital na, na pinuntahan ko. But with you, kahit na pagod na pagod ka na siguro dahil may sakit ka, de ba? And then the ordeal that you had to go through, talagang sinikap mo pa rin na ano, makapag breastfeed from day one, no? And that's pure breastfeeding hanggang one year and six months. Yes, yes. Wow. So, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure Helena's got the strongest bones and uh, siya siguro ang pinaka ano hindi tatablan ng any covid variant. So I'm very happy <laughs> for you in that sense, di ba? Anyway, I want to ask lang doon sa mga um, sinabi mo kanina your ideas uh, na gusto mong dalahin sa Congress. When you come up with those, um, do you discuss them with uh, Senator Coco? I mean, is it a real, you know, parang malaking bagay ba na of course ang asawa mo is a senator, a lawyer, and can help you in these things. How do you consult him, and how do you guys work together? He's very supportive uh, of me running. So, yung eight-point agenda ng PDP Cares, he really helped us a lot. Um, and yun nga, yung sa tingin namin na wala, pa, wala pang loss talaga na nagpo-push dito sa Philippines nung ano namin, nung priority Uh, advocacy so sabi niya yan na lang ang tutukan ninyo and then yun nga advantage na ang husband ko is a senator so sabi niya if mananalo ang PDP cares at least we can work together kung ano yung bills na ipapas ko sa senate mapupush mo rin sa house medyo strict ba siya magturo or because he's been senator for for such a long time no um uh, syempre and lawyer pa so he probably knows everything like the back of his hand may times ba na ano parang 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 medyo nagiging strict or parang pag sa pagtuturo si senator coco hindi naman <laughs> hindi naman <laughs> much <Hindi naman. laughs> Caring, caring all the PDP cares talaga all the way, de ba? Well, what? matalino talaga siya. Kaya yes. minsan, pag sinasabi ko na, explain mo nang maayos kasi hindi naman lahat bart up na sure. So much yes. naman siya mag-explain. <laughs> That's good to know. What other advice did he give you para naman tungkol sa pag-survive and pag-succeed mm-hmm. in politics should you win? Sabi lang niya na be true to yourself and um wag mo lang kalimutan kung ano yung the pimental way of uh, public service so stick to it marami marami kang ang mamimit along the way but just stick to your ano your core so yon yun ang sa tingin ko ang the best na naituturo niya sa akin parang talagang don't change no para whatever yeah. it is that you brought to to your post dapat yun din lagi ang uh, mag-guide sa iyong trabaho, no? sa trabaho na gagawin mo. My question is, pag nanalo na po kayo, kung mananalo po kayo as a wife and especially as a mother of a very young child, no? uh, maliit pa, of course, si Helena, how do you see yourself juggling all these equally important responsibilities? I think it will be easy for me because I've been doing that for the past uh, four years. Up to now, I still sleep with her beside her so walang mababago doon katabi ko pa rin siya sa gabi and uh, when i'm home i spend time with her and sa congress naman um, i'll do that during the day and uh, on the weekends i can still cook for the family yeah, spend 
spend time with them pa din, I think I've mastered the art of multitasking. Yes. From from having businesses before, di ba? Uh, you know, like having a catering business. That was even before you got married. Totoo nga, if you think about it, you were already managing director of the law firm. Uh, before you got married, you were already president of PBP Cares, di ba? So, parang ang dami mo na palang ginajuggle sa umpisang-umpisa pa lang. And what, um, what an example Helena is going to see, di ba? Para sa mga kababaihan naman, that uh, women can make a lot of difference, no? Pwede kang maging mom, pero pwede ka rin maging congresswoman, pwede ka rin maging chef, at, at lahat-lahat pa. So uh, that's quite um, an exciting thing then siguro na na mapakita uh, to your daughter. Um sabi mo earlier you really didn't have any plans no you were happy doing um your you know yung humanitarian side of of the work of uh, Senator Coco um with PDP cares but yun na nga parang isang step naman ito para lang mas may magawa kayo mas magawa niyo mabuti yung mga ginagawa niyo so my question now now that you're here at this crossroads naiisip mo na ba how long do you see yourself how long and how far do you see yourself in politics kaya i really don't know yet um, until until we're there <laughs> <laughs> this is an opportunity and if pdp cares will be given a chance then we'll take it one step at a time what is it that you believe we will be bringing into congress na you think will really help you do the job in representing the most vulnerable uh, in in the country my passion talaga to help other people and i've been doing this since uh, 2017 i want to bring that to the to, to the Congress and inspire more uh, of my co-legislators that we can serve the people um, and uh, with sincerity and uh, talagang unahin natin ang pangangailangan, pang- pangangailangan nila, uh, lalo na uh, sa, yung sa changing times. Now, uh, as we can see, it's pandemic, tapos meron pang ongoing na war, sana naman hindi matuloy yan, dapat pasok siya sa situation na mga nangyayari sa ngayon. Motherhood really changed you, no? Parang, yeah. parang, yun, yun yung naging, parang yun yung naging susi sa lahat ng to eh. Uh, so, if you could just tell us a little bit about that, what changes did you see in yourself um, nung naging mami ka na? Mas pinaprioritize mo na ngayon yung baby mo, syempre. <laughs> Chinecheck, chinecheck mo yung kung ano yung mas makakabuti sa kanya and mas less ano ka na, hindi ka na selfish. Hmm. <laughs> More on, uh, syempre may baby ka na, iniisip mo din yung mga anak at saka yung mga babies ng ibang tao. More of uh, ano rin, uh, nakikita ko na ang next generation natin uh, dapat mas ma makultivate sila sa tamang paraan. So, gusto ko din, din mag-impart doon uh, para yung next generation natin, ma-prepare natin para mas umunlad pa yung country natin. Hindi sila maligaw sa landas. Sabi nga nila, di ba, um, we, we can always do a lot of good. Everybody can do a lot of good. Kaya lang minsan, hanggang doon lang, minsan kailangan kang pumasok sa gobyerno para maging batas ang isang bagay na mapapaganda ang buhay ng mas maraming tao. And that's also the reason why nga we've come up with this um, election series uh, para rin naman mapaalam sa mga uh, manunood namin ang mga pwede nilang pagpilian ng mga candidates kasi nga it's really all about the future. Diba? It's all about the future of, of our children. You have to select the right leaders now para masecure din natin ang mga future nila. So, um, we applaud your motherhood journey at ang iyong passion sa pagiging mommy. Uh, but now, I would like to ask you po to uh, give your final message and um, talk to our voters about uh, PDP Cares. I really hope uh, you give PDP Cares party list number eight sa balota a chance uh, this election. Uh, and um, hindi po kayo magsisise dahil talagang nakreate naman po ang PDP Cares PDP Cares party list para magserbisyo sa bawat Pilipino. Uh, nandiyan na po kami, hindi pa po kami party list. What more kung, kung manalo kami? 
and mabigyan ng seat sa Congress, talagang makikita nyo na hindi nyo pagsisisihan ang PDP Cares Party list. Um, we really have to be the change no, that, that we want, di ba? Kaya isa pong nanay na um, batang bata pa uh, papasok sa politika just really hoping to make more a lot of difference no, for mothers and children out there. So uh, thank you very much, um, Kat Yu Pimentel, for joining us today on Lights, Camera, Boto and we wish you all the best sa iyong pagtakbo. Thank you. Nakilala at nakilatis na natin si PDP Cares Party List nominee Kat Yupimentel and more importantly, ang personalidad niya at plataforma pa. Empowered by this episode of Lights, Camera, Boto, the choice is yours to make, mga ka-voters. In the meantime, please make sure to get a copy of the Sunday Times Magazine today to find out more about the newbie political candidate and how her life as a wife to a senator and a mother to a child born at the height of COVID-19 propelled her to bring her advocacy to Congress. Allow me to thank my Lights Camera Bota team, led by our director and video editor, Neil Reyes, my girls, Christina and Isa, and LCD project manager, Shirley Pizarro, for their continued hard work. All that we do is for you, mga kaboters. This is Tessa Mauricio Ariola, and see you next Sunday on the Manila Times Lights Camera Bota, where entertainment leads to empowerment. Hi mga ka-voters! If you haven't yet, do subscribe to the Manila Times YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Manila Times and at TMT CSI. You may also log on to www.manilatimes.net to watch Lights, Camera, Boto.